Mathematics in Chile – A Half Century of Steady Development Chile is located on the very tip of South America, occupying a long strip of land between the Andes Mountains and the Pacific Ocean. With almost 800,000 square kilometers of territory, reaching from the northern limits with Peru all the way down to Antarctica, Chile has an incredible variety of climates, ecological diversity and natural wonders. Situated within the Pacific Ring of Fire and laying atop the Nazca and South American tectonic plates, Chile has a population of around 17 million people and is today one of South America's most stable and prosperous nations. Its unique geography also allows for rich mineral deposits, primarily copper and nitrates, as well as significant agricultural resources. Economic development is based in commodities, including copper exports, which reach about a third of the world's copper supplies. Additionally, agriculture, particularly fruits and wine production, and tourism represent two other major sources of income for the Chilean economy. Biology, and particularly ecology and natural sciences, was the first of the sciences to be developed in Chile. Chemistry and physics soon followed. Although mathematical research in Chile only began to take off in the late 70s, it is growing vigorously and the country is becoming a regional center of mathematical research. Chile's rate of mathematical publications per capita has been increasing sharply. It now doubles that of its nearest Latin American competitor. Nonetheless, this rate is still about a third of that of other developed countries, so that there is ample room for growth and cooperation. Mathematics in Chile before 1960 was limited to that required for the education of professionals. Between the years 1890 and 1930, essential contributions to academic curriculums were done by German mathematicians hired by the Chilean government for this specific purpose, but there was no centralized effort to pursue mathematical research and development. The starting point of Chilean mathematics can perhaps be traced back to 1964, 50 years ago with the return of the first Chilean mathematician doctorate Jaime Michelot after finishing his PhD in the United States. During the 60s, the only options for those who wished to study mathematics in Chile were the Instituto Pedagogico, which specialized in training school teachers, or the schools of engineering of some universities. During this time, a state decision was made to prepare academics in basic sciences for both teaching and research. Several Chilean universities, including the Universidad de Concepción de Chile y Técnica de Estado, created the first programs of bachelors in science and mathematical engineering. In 1970, reflecting the interest of investigators to pursue further studies in mathematics, Locally, the first Master in Mathematics program in Chile was created. The Bachelors in Academic Mathematics, LAM for its sigils in Spanish, trained the first generation of graduate mathematicians in Chile. LAM for us at the time, this was a very long time ago, uh, 75 in fact, at, right after, no 73 actually, right after the military coup in Chile and the people in charge in LAM, of LAM at the time, Jaime Michlo and others, uh, went all along Chile recruiting students for the program. So many of us interested in mathematics went into this program and studied there for about a year, maybe two, and then we left for abroad to pursue PhD studies. The program also attracted many teachers who were teaching at regional universities and that combination was very important for the development of mathematics in Chile. Later on, this program grew to also encompass young students who under fellowships granted by the Ford Foundation continued their graduate studies abroad. Input given by LAM the training that was given there for people 
who then went back to their own regional universities and taught future professionals and mathematicians in Chile was the one, I want to say the key, but it's probably one of the most important keys for what happened later. The beginning of the 70s, about 10 Chilean mathematics PhDs had returned to the country after finishing their degrees abroad. In parallel, between 1970 and 1980, about 100 mathematical bachelor degrees were granted in Chile from the newly funded university math departments. Highlighting the interest and commitment of this new generation of Chilean scientists, many of them went on to pursue graduate programs in the US and France. Mathematical research per se in Chile was still only beginning, and the training of upcoming investigators remained in the hands of internationally renowned faculty. In 1973, the military coup d'état takes place in Chile and universities lost many of their students and academics. In addition, international faculty working in Chile emigrated, and mathematical progress in Chile is stalled until the beginning of the 1980s, when a massive return of mathematical doctorates abroad begins. By 1981, there were around 45 Chilean doctors in mathematics working in the country, and a similar number of them remained abroad. A landmark event in the development of Chilean science occurs around this time. In 1981, a national state program for individual competitive grants was created, Fondesid, following the template of the National Science Foundation, NSF, in the US. Currently, in 2014, Fondesid funds 230 grants for the area of mathematics, each for $35,000 annually. Bueno, la Comisión Nacional de Investigación Científica y Tecnológica, CONICIT, financia proyectos de investigación en todas las áreas del conocimiento. Hace más de 45 años que existe esta institución y desde hace 30 años existe en particular un fondo que financia proyectos de investigación individual. Este es el programa FONDECIT. Actualmente en el programa FONDESI tenemos eh, casi 230 proyectos de investigación. El financiamiento que entrega CONICIT a través de sus distintos programas, a través de FONDESI, a través del financiamiento del centro de investigación, a través de las becas de doctorado, eh, a través de estas eh, colaboraciones de pasantía de investigadores extranjeros en Chile o de investigadores chilenos en el extranjero, eh, permitió el desarrollo de las matemáticas eh, en, en el país. The first doctorates in mathematics programs in Chile are created at the Universidad Católica, 1972, the Universidad de Chile, 1986. At the same time, Chilean students going abroad for their degrees enlarged the spectrum to other countries such as Germany, Brazil and Spain. The Chilean Mathematical Society Somachi began to meet informally in the late 1970s. During those years of political oppression, Somachi ensured the continuance of science development in Chile, replacing the frozen state and government initiatives towards science. Uh, everyone knows that we had a, a sort of a, a, a very a dramatic break in our uh, democratic life in 73. So uh, there was a sort of a diaspora uh, at that time and many researchers continue working abroad. With this in mind, the Chilean Mathematical Society began to connect and repatriate Chilean mathematicians abroad. We started to think about uh, the scientific development of the country and uh, to think about policies to develop science in Chile. So, for instance, we uh, applied for uh, funding to the United Nations program for a, a national uh, program uh, for uh, mathematical research. That was one of the first uh, funding uh, we obtained at, uh, at that time. 